Hello and welcome to Sky Sports SPFL podcast, which comes to you from Pataudry Stadium, where Aberdeen have beaten Hearts by one goal to nil, which means that they are now seven points clear of Hearts, who are currently in third place. I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Russell Anderson, the former Aberdeen captain, and the Hearts legend, John Robertson. John, what does this say about Aberdeen's title credentials? Everything that he needs to. You know, I think today they dominated the first half and, and really could have been well ahead. They didn't take their chances. Then Hearts really came back into the game. But Aberdeen showed the perseverance, um, showed the desire that you need to if you're going to challenge for a title and d dig out the three points. They've done that. The cruel circumstances for Hearts and for young Jordan. But for Aberdeen, it's a wonderful three points because it looked as if it was just drifting away from them. But they dug in there and got them. John says Aberdeen a title challengers again after that stumble. Would you go along with that? Uh, again, I think it's too early in the season to be classed as title contenders. Um, we're a lot closer to Celtic now than we were a few weeks ago, which is fantastic achievement for the players. Um, but in December, as we keep saying, it's, it's too early to really talk about that kind of thing. I think for us to win three, three points today is the most important thing, then we can look forward to the next game. The winning goal, the only goal of the game, came a couple of minutes from time. Jordan McGee gave away the penalty. What on earth, as a defender, what on earth was he thinking about, Russ? Uh, a rush of blood to the head is the only explanation I can give for that. Um, he's actually not in a bad position to start with there, but I think he expects David Goodwill to come round the back of him. He's clearly concerned about him. Goody actually holds his run there, pulls out, and um, that is the, the result of it. Close up there, did you, is this where he is distracted by Goodwillie? There you can see that he's, yeah. Um, and the only thing I can say is he, he's worried about him getting round the back. It's the last few minutes of the game. They've done so well to get back into it because um, they were up against it in the first half. They've grown into the game second half and I think they were probably looking like getting a good point away from home, um, which wouldn't have suited us. It wouldn't have suited either team, to be honest, but Hearts would have taken it more than we had. Emotionally and physically, how will young Jordan McGee, 19-year-old of course, brought into the team today, how will he be feeling? Right now he'll be sick, he'll feel physically sick, that yeah. he's, he feels he's let his teammates down, he feels he's let the club down on, on today, but he had a terrific game, apart from that one second, that's all it takes, he had that one, one rush of blood as Russell says, but he had a terrific game and, he, and you heard Robbie afterwards, he, we're developing young players, you've got to give them opportunities, they will make mistakes, young Jordan's made one but it's not the end of the world, he'll continue and hopefully grow into an even better player on the, on the strength of today. What did you make of the penalty? As a striker yourself, Rob, it's the 12th goal of the season for Adam Rooney. It's a great, he's, he's, he does it well. I mean, we said, we knew that his he's normal penalty is low hard to keep his left. Neil Alexander knows this, he'll have watched lots of videos, and if he doesn't connect with this perfectly, which he does, Neil Alexander saves that. But it's, it's a jo as Derek McKinnon said, people think when you've got a penalty that that's it over and done with. You've still got a job to do, and Adam Rooney done it clinically. Could have been easy for Aberdeen if Craig Thompson, the referee, had sent off Miguel Payardo of Hearts in the first half. He gets booked and then a minute later there is the big contentious issue here, Russ. What do you think? He's got a decision to make. Once he has booked him for this foul here, which it could, it couldn't, it's the referee's opinion, he's decided to book him. Um, then so soon after that to be given a decision like that, to then give him a second yellow card is... I said at the time, I think it was a lazy effort to try and tackle him. I think at that moment there, Johnny was actually running right down the left-hand side. He was getting a lot of success. And he just needs to stand up there because there's another person just two or three yards, I think it's Callum Patterson, who they can double up against him and try and show him out away from the goal and stop any kind of cross. So, a poor decision. He was lucky to get away with it. So that is Aberdeen now undefeated in five games and it's Hearts' first defeat in nine games since September when he last played Aberdeen. Now, big game coming up uh, just after Christmas for Hearts. It's a sellout at Tyne Castle against Celtic live on Sky Sports. How special is that going to be, yeah. Robbo? It's a massive game. In, in Tyne Castle, we've, we've spoke before, it's a wonderful stadium, a wonderful atmosphere. You know, there's going to be over 17,000 there. I think it's the ninth, perhaps tenth sellout in a row. Uh, the place is really rocking. Um, but, you know, Robbo will, will want to, to get rid of disappointment today and build the momentum of the game by hopefully beating St Johnson next week and then look to Celtic coming. Uh, it'll be a massive game. It could, on, on the strength of today's result, uh, I'm sure the Aberdeen fans will be watching and hoping that Tarts can take some from Celtic and allow Aberdeen to move even closer. Celtic won at Tyne Castle in the League Cup this season, but you also got a 0-0 draw at Celtic Park in the league. Can Hearts win this one? Absolutely. I mean, Hearts uh, are capable of beating any team on any given day. 
in, in the SPFL and Celtic are no, are no different, you know, but you know, you look today, if they, if they play how they played in the second half, then there's no reason why that we can't go and, and get a victory there. Well, well, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Russell, good to see you as well. Have a Merry Christmas, lads. And remember, we're back on the 27th of December for a festive cracker. Hearts in third against Leaders Celtic, live from Tynecastle. It's a sellout. If you don't have a ticket, the only place to see this one is on Sky Sports 1. Sunday, December the 27th, join us at 1.30 in the afternoon. Until then, have a very Merry Christmas. <laughs>